The tale of Batman Arkham Knight on PC is a very sorry one indeed. And of course, it just reappeared on Steam after a very long hiatus of about four months. Now, two major problems plagued the initial release, and unfortunately, they are still present. Now, it has received two patches to iron things out on Steam to deliver what some would call an acceptable port. However, two of the issues that game suffered initially have not been fixed in the release. A new update from Warner goes, quote, After extensive testing, a hard drive paging issue with some GPUs on Windows 7 may occur after extended gameplay sessions. If you encounter this, simply relaunching the game will resolve the issue. Now, if you're a PC user or were reading about the problems that PC users were suffering around the time, you'll probably know that paging, the paging issue rather, is one of the key reasons most PC users were suffering from hitching and stuttering which was probably one of the worst problems alongside the shocking performance on many systems. Now, they've also advised on their blog post that anyone using Windows 10 needs to have at least 12 gigs of RAM for the game to quote, operate without, without paging and provide a smoother gameplay experience and the recommended specs are still asking for 8 gigs of RAM. Now if you head on over to Reddit, which I will link in the description below, as well as the Steam forums, well, the picture for the PC version looks pretty damn grim. A large number of people are still reporting massive performance problems, with some even saying that the new patch has made things worse. So we've still got key issues like stuttering, freezing, dropped frames still plaguing the game. Now this is despite it mostly achieving 60 FPS on high-end hardware. That's according to some people on Reddit again. So yeah, they spent four months working on it, kind of improved things sort of for some people, but a huge amount of people are still suffering from the same problems as before. We just have some of the problems ironed out. So you don't have the locked frame rate thing anymore. It actually runs fairly decently on high-end machines in terms of performance but a lot of people are still having massive hitching, stuttering and freezing, which is just unacceptable. I suggest you take a look at the Reddit thread, which again I will link below in the Steam forums, just to get an idea of how much a mess this game is still in, which is a real shame. The reports of this game are that it's pretty good, it's not the best in the series or anything, and it's a real shame to see the PC version still not where you would expect after four months of it being pulled from sale. So we'll have to see if they'll continue to work on it or if now that they've added support for DLC in the season pass they're just going to leave it. We'll have to see but regardless, oh dear, will it ever be in state it's supposed to be? Your guess is as good as mine my friend. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time.